video we're going to be looking at how to turn the UI file we created in designer into um, Python code. To do this we need to use the command line. So I'm going to open up a terminal and I'm going to uh, just do dir so we can actually see where we are. So when you open up a terminal Linux it defaults to your home directory and I've created a folder called project so I'm going to go cd project and dir and there's my UI file. Okay, so you need to first of all change directory into um, uh, where you've stored the UI file. And this is the same directory we're gonna put the Python file. So I start off with the command Python 3. Now uh, in, in Linux, um, you got Python, which is 2.7 or whatever it is, and then you got Python 3. Now Qt5 works in Python 3 uh, only, therefore, that's why we use Python 3. So you do dash M, and then pyqt5.uic.pyuic. Okay, so that's the module we're going to be running inside Python, and that's the one that will convert the UI file into Python code. I then need to say which UI file I want to use. So in this case, it's my first app. Okay, that's just the name of the UI file. And then dash O for output, and I'm going to call this my first app. App.py. Okay, so that's the Python code we want to generate. I'm going to hit enter, and it doesn't look like it's done much. If I do dir now, you'll see that it's actually generated um, the actual Python file. Now I'm going to have a look at this Python file so we can actually see what it looks like. So I'm going to type in genie as my editor and my first app.py. You can just simply open up your editor and then go file open if you want to. Um, I just find this a bit quicker. So here you can see the code that was generated. It does have a little warning here saying don't make any changes to this file. Uh, the reason for that is that when you run, uh, if you make a change in design, for example, and then run the converter again, it will overwrite everything in here. So any changes you make would be deleted essentially. The main method on here is the setup UI. Now this is generated for you, so you don't need to actually code this yourself. But if you notice, um, the names that we used in designer, push button, um, txt name and just label um, have come through here as well. This is the reason why uh, you need to name it inside designer because it actually turns into code in that way. And you can see the push button is a, a Q bush button and the text name is a line edit and so on and so forth. Now I'm going to run this code and you notice I get an error straight away. Okay, and that's, that's a little bit disappointing I would imagine. The reason for this is because this is running under Python 2.7. Okay, so I'm going to, in Genie, go to uh, build commands and make sure it's running Python 3. Now, depending on which editor you're using, it will depend what you need to do, but essentially you need to use Python 3 to run this code and not Python 2. So I'm gonna run this now, and there's my little app. Now it doesn't do anything at the moment. Obviously if I click me, nothing happens, but that's fine. It's just the basic shell of my app. And in the next video, we're looking at actually how to add some functionality to this.